Hello, just a quick tip here, how to copy the one side of your armature over to the other when you've been uh, creating an armature uh, and you've been working on just one side and how to deal with uh, a certain issue that uh, that can arise here. So you see I've got my armature, if I press the N key to get the properties region up and uh, select a bone here, you can see that all the bones on the left hand side of the character are named uh, upperarm.l and um, forearm.l. This is important naming convention to have them all uh, named just like that for, um, for, the, for, for in just a moment. So I'm going to go to front view with number pad 1 and then press 5 to go to orthographic view, make it nice and easy just to kind of like select all of these guys in, in wireframe mode this time and that one. Now what I'm going to do is change the pivot point to be the 3D cursor which we've got centered at the middle of the scene here so we can go this down here 3D cursor or you can press the, uh, the, the, the full stop key on the keyboard there a comma and a full stop are changing the pivot points and we can go shift D and duplicate uh, this and then two choices we can either go SX minus one to flip it across the 3D cursor in the negative X direction or you can press control M and then X to do exactly the same thing and what we'll notice is that these bones that are on the other side have a slightly different role to the ones on the other side. And this is a bit of an issue um, because you can see if we go control R you can see how this is adjusting the, the, the role here. We want them to be exactly the same as the other side. The first thing to do is press W and we'll choose flip names and this ensures now that all the um, bones on the right hand side of the armature have uh, have the, the same name, uh, <laughs> have the opposite name to the left. So you see upper, upper arm dot L here and this one's been renamed um, upper arm dot R. I'll just step back. Now if we turn on this option, the x-axis mirror, what we can do is press something like control i to invert the selection. So we've got the, we've now got the bones selected that we want to copy the roll from. And because the bones all have corresponding names for the left and right, if we now perform some transform like say control r, you'll see that all the bones on the armature's right hand side are now flipped over. So if I just control Z out of that you'll see what's happening. We've got a bad roll now, we go control I to invert the selection so we've got these guys selected and now watch these bones over here when you press control R they'll all flip over. And now we don't want to be uh, rotating all of these and, and mess it up further so a right click just leave it where it is and then you can see that that is working just perfectly like that. You can turn off the x-axis mirror if you're not going to do any more editing uh, and that's uh, you're good to go now to uh, to carry on with your rigging.